everyone, it's Joanna here from Inspired by Stamping and today I have a quick tutorial on how to create this beautiful autumn gold embossing border using our autumn blessing in our autumn harvest stamp set. I've also created this card. This actually was my first card. Um, you can create either one with the same technique. You can put your leaves on the top or you can actually create it on the side. I'm going to be demonstrating the one on the side. So let's get started. So I've already grabbed my Autumn Harvest stamp set here and we're going to work with this card that I'm going to demonstrate. And I'm only going to use all these cute little leaves in this stamp set. Now I already cut out my cardstock. It's just four and a quarter by five and a half. And I like to open it up wide and flat like this. This just gives me a better stamp impression with my stamps. Now I'm just grabbing a ruler here and my border is I would guess about an inch, an inch and a half. Depending, you know, you can make it larger or smaller and I'm just placing three little dots here and this is just going to help me gauge when I'm stamping to make sure that this border is perfectly straight. Sometimes I kind of go off and then I have a diagonal or start going on a curve. So this just helps me when I'm stamping that I'm making sure that those uh, leaves are not going all over the place. They actually will be going straight. So just grab your stamp set here and just randomly place those leaves. You can put them any which way that you want. And this is just really a great way of quick stamping here because we're just going to be using one color. We're just using that gold embossing. We're not going to be changing colors. So you could do this and you could just stamp really, really quickly. So I'm just going to be using some Versamark here. And I'm going to be grabbing my embossing, embossing buddy and that's just really important to get rid of any excess static that's on my card and that that embossing powder might stick to. So just ink up that with that Versamark here. You could also use a dryer sheet that works just as well as the embossing buddy if you don't have that handy. And I'm just lining up and I'm making sure with those three dots that I created with that pencil that I'm not going over here uh, with these leaves while I'm stamping. And just, you know, keep inking up every between every, you know, stamp set that you push down on. Just make sure you continuously ink up with that Versa mark. And I'm just going to pop one down here at the border. And as you can see, you can just barely see it. And it just looks perfectly straight. So I'm pretty happy with it here. Now I'm just going to grab some gold embossing powder. I'm using some Wow Super Fine embossing powder. And I just love this embossing powder for sentiments and fine detail um, stamping and stuff. So just lightly dust it over and you don't want to tap too hard here because you really do want to make sure that you have lots of embossing powder on those leaves. Now I'm just going to grab a watercolor brush and we're just going to dust off where we see that we don't want to have that embossing powder. So just going to blow gently here and push this away and grab my heat gun. And we're just going to go back and forth. Now some of the tips here is that you could, uh, while this is hot, you could go back and put a second coat on if you found that, you know, that the embossing powder wasn't that thick. So while this is heating up, you could quickly dust over with a second layer of your embossing powder and that will help make an extra thick um, coating and it will really, really pop. As you can see, there's a couple little blank spots there so you could grab I suggest that you grab a smaller acrylic block and just place one leaf on it and just stamp and you can go back over again with some of that gold embossing. As you can see right there and again right here I would probably just grab a little leaf here but I'm not going to show that today in my tutorial. And so if you would like to see me finish this card we're going to do a little watercoloring. Um, come on over and uh, visit me at my online classes where I give in-depth tutorials from start to finish and different techniques. I really hope that you've enjoyed today's tutorial. Thanks so much.